No, whoa, what? Oh, hi. Hi. How long was I out? Oh, about four weeks. Oh, no. Alright everybody, it's time to get back into tip-top shape. So, what's up? Oh, you want to know what's been keeping me? Well, I've had to deal with senior comprehensive exams at my college. It's not fun being a senior. I don't recommend it. I won't bore you with the details. Just know that it's over, and now that it is, it's time to finally start talking positively, and what better way to start than with some timely movie tie-ins. Yes, Black Panther's been all the rage lately, and considering it's been backed by Disney, I kind of don't see how it could have ended any other way. Well, with so many people trying to see it, and the fact that old cliches die hard, these two children attempted to bring back an old classic. That's right, it's the traditional two kids under a giant trench coat shtick. Which seems weird to me, right? Because in the movies and shows that that happens in, the kids always fail. Like, it never works. And this time proved to be no different. The ticket man just does not appreciate modern art. And the boys were later quoted as saying, Somehow, he knew something was up. But fail or not, I'm honestly just really happy to see that this actually happened somewhere. I think we've all heard of this, but we've only ever seen it in a movie or a TV show. It's very gratifying to see it in real life. And you know that if you saw this in the mall, in real life, you would be laughing your ass off. You would not be able to keep yourself from laughing. Now it's time for some extra special targeted good news. You see, many people suffer from peanut allergies. And if you suffer from peanut allergies, I'm really sorry. I mean, out of all the things to be allergic to, it had to be peanuts. But I have some good news regardless. For the first time, an actual trial in an attempt to fix peanut allergies somewhat succeeded. The company Immune ha, recently tried to get people who were allergic to peanuts to build up an immunity with a new pill that's essentially just more peanuts. Yes, in a bold stroke of simplicity and irony, by giving patients just enough of the peanut substance to not trigger their allergy, but enough to gradually make them resistant to it, scientists were able to make patients' bodies more desensitized to peanuts. At the end of the trial, 67% of patients were able to handle 600 milligrams of peanut butter, which is about two peanuts worth. This is impressive considering only 4% of the placebo group were able to accomplish the same thing. It's even more impressive when you consider that these patients who began the trials started by only being able to tolerate 10% of a single peanut at a time. Damn. Okay, so taking things more seriously for a sec, I just wanted to give a moment to those affected by the Florida shooting that happened a couple weeks ago. Due to the delayed nature of this episode, it was surely more than just a couple weeks ago, but it takes much longer than that to move on and be at peace, so... I don't have much to offer you, but at the very least, I would like to bring your attention to a GoFundMe campaign that aims to help as many people afflicted by this terrible event as much as it possibly can. Maybe it will amount to something. Who knows? A link to the GoFundMe will be in the video description of YouTube and in the comments section of Facebook. I know I can't do much sitting behind a camera, but if I can at least make more of you aware of this GoFundMe campaign, hopefully it helps. Getting back into it then, two women were saved by a cop who stopped them from getting on a one-way trip to Florida. The two women were approached by this shady guy about being models and coming over to Florida for his modeling gig. He bought the women two tickets to Florida, and things looked pretty cool. Unbeknownst to the women, however, were that these tickets were one-way tickets. And once the airport security saw that, and noticed that their packages were surprisingly light, and noticed that the women didn't actually know much about their trip, he figured something was up and called the police. Once everything was figured out, the women were horrified to find out that their tickets were only one way, and thought that they'd only be gone for a little while. Thankfully, the airport security who called the cops wasn't just a robot and let them through. He actually took some initiative and tried to figure things out. Police contacted this shady individual who was lampooning as a talent agent, only for him to disappear as soon as they did and delete all of his social media pages. Yeesh. While I personally don't like to jump to conclusions, the cops who came to help figure out the situation said that they suspect this talent agent may have been involved in a human trafficking scheme and was trying to kidnap these two women. 
If that's true, it's important to point out that he's one of the worst pieces of ever, and that he does not count as a human anymore. It's just a fact. Frankly, I'm just happy that they're safe. And that'll wrap us up. Swen Duke's back to its full-time production, and it'll be continuing to come on once a week. Now that advanced practicums are finished, and senior comps are out of the way, things should continue as normal. Until then, I'll see you next week, and stay happy. And now that it is, it's time to get Dookie. Wow, that did not sound as good as I, as it was phrased in my mind. Was that these tickets were one-way tickets? And once, <laughs> oh, there's there's even a oh, I actually do have a joke here for that. It's time to get Doogie. Look back up at cameraman. He is unimpressed. <laughs>